This section examines the diesel induction system beginning with the four-stroke engine. The two main components of the intake system are the air cleaner and the intake manifold. But in a diesel engine, since fuel is delivered separately and the intake system carries air only, there is less restriction in the intake of the air than in a carburetted system. Also, since the diesel engine doesn't have a carburetor, it has no throttle plate. Some diesels use a pneumatic governor with a butterfly valve at the entrance to the inlet manifold. Diesel engines often have more than one air cleaner. The intake system of the diesel engine can be used to increase engine output. This can be done by increasing volumetric efficiency, that is, by increasing the amount of air that enters the cylinders. Output can also be improved by using large, free-flowing intake manifolds and by increasing the number or the size of inlet valves per cylinder to admit more charge into the combustion chamber. Another method is to use forced induction or supercharging to pressurise the intake of the air and force more air into the cylinders. Let's look at the intake system for a two-stroke diesel engine. There is only a very short time at the end of its power stroke to scavenge the exhaust gases and refill the cylinder with air. To achieve this in the time available, two-stroke diesels use an engine-driven air pump, usually called a blower. It pressurises the air so that when the inlet ports open, air from the blower enters the cylinder and helps scavenge the exhaust gases. Some two-stroke diesel engines use a turbocharger, which feeds air under pressure to the blower.